back to another episode of the marketing show. I'm James Hurst. And yesterday I was getting around tinkering. I took my car into the shop and and uh, um, the other day, and I saw their re review request workflow. It's like, and I actually knew that they were using a high level as well. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm not doing my reviews that smart. I was like, I bet they're using trigger links. Um, what if I was to go play with this and try to recreate what I had experienced with my with my car? Um, really smart, right? Like you click on the trigger link, then you can like. Uh, you know, say thank you for leaving a review. Or if they don't trigger the if they don't trigger the trigger link, then uh, you can remind them to to leave the review. So you kind of know whether or not at least if whether or not they've clicked on the trigger link uh, to leave a review. So that led to me just kind of tinkering and building this thing out. Uh, and now I'm calling it smarter review requests. Um, and you know, as I feel like I do give like a ton of value, I give a lot away for free. Um, this is something I'm actually gonna sell uh, or give as a bonus for people that, that go with my affiliate link, for example. Um, people have already offered, I've already had people that are buying this, so I know it's worth enough, uh, you know, and I'm not really too concerned about the price. You know, I, I almost call it like a name your price thing, right? Like, hey, like what's what's this worth to you? You, you know, find me online, reach out. My, my email's um, james at ddxweb.com. Uh, that's ddxweb.com. Uh, and so like, I'm, make, make me a deal, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I, I got to sell like every once in a while, right? I got kids to kids to feed, but, uh, um, so I'm going to tell you what this thing does kind of a walkthrough. And yes, I know this is blurry because a lot of the value is just right here. And if you want to take the time to, you know, zoom in and try to do this yourself, that's, that's totally fine. That's, uh, you're not going to see everything that's inside of it. Uh, and I've actually built on quite a bit more since then, but you know, um, if you want to, Try and recreate this, that you're more power to you. Uh, so basically, however you're gonna kick off this workflow, whether it's a form, whether it's uh, dragging a pipeline to um, the status of, you know, the job has been com completed, now we're gonna you know, request them to leave a review. Uh, the initial idea is that it's going to um, try, I think usually the review requests come in through text, right? It's a little immediate there, right on your phone. Um, and so what we're trying to do is have them end up at a link kind of like this, right? So a direct link, to the um, to the review, okay, and that's we're going to turn that into a, into the trigger link, okay. Now, um, the, what I wanted to do though is, is I know some of the numbers are landlines, and so I wanted to uh, retry a couple times on the texting, but then if that didn't work, then switch gears and kind of go over to the emailing. So this tries three different times to get them uh, by text, and then it kind of gives up on that, and then it goes in and tries two more times by email and then it's kind of like okay we're done I tried uh, let, let the owner know that uh, you tried like five times and you know didn't happen so uh, leave it leave it where it lays so um, basically what this does the first thing it says is hey how was your experience one to five okay and uh, if they respond four or five then it's like hey you know I'm glad to hear that but would you like a um, would you be willing to leave a review Okay, so you could call it review gating. I don't know the intricacies of the of the legalities of you know um, if they if they say I had a bad experience, you know three, two, or one a rating, then you can say, well, hey, what was you know what was the concern? And you're maybe not offering up that that review link. Uh, if you're worried about that, then uh, definitely like just give them the op you can still ask them what their star rating was. Then just give them the opportunity to um, to leave a review no matter what they say. Okay. Uh, if you're worried about that and um, that's that's between you and uh, your lawyers um, and what you do there I'm not gonna take responsibility saying well you made this and so um, right this is just the framework do what you want with it um, okay so let's just get that out of the way uh, basically it's listening the automation is listening for them to click the link if they do then it kind of waits for uh, the, the one I saw that it just immediately when I clicked the link, say, oh, thanks for leaving a review. And I was still typing the review up. So I like had it wait uh, like four minutes or so, right? Four minutes enough to type up a little review and hit send. Four minutes later, hey, thanks so much for leaving a review. Well, if the review is a four, then you might be wondering, well, what, what, what did I do to um, not get a four out of five? So if they leave a four or out of five, it also says, hey, uh, you know, what could we have done better? turns around and asks them, thanks for leaving a review, four out of five. I think four and five star reviews makes it very organic and natural. You know, I don't think you want all just five star reviews personally. I think it looks a little bit uh, gamified, unnatural. 
Uh, so four and five star reviews, let those through. Um, let them all through if you want. But um, then it says, hey, you know, how do, where did we miss the mark on that? Then could you tell us? And so it takes that, it takes the answer and it, and it stuffs that in the notes of the contact. So we've got it stored there. It also uh, alerts the management and it tells them, hey, thank you for your feedback. We've, uh, we've alerted management uh, to, with, your, with your feedback, okay? Similar thing on 321. Hey, so sorry, we had a bad experience. What happened? Uh, okay, we've uh, let management know and uh, do that. So that's basically what it does. It stores the, um, the response in the, in, the, in the notes field as well. I'll actually show you what that looks like right here. So you can see here, right? Uh, just from testing, hey, they, they do a four. Would you be willing to leave your experience, et cetera? More free snacks next time, right? So you can see I'm tracking the visits, the trigger link visits. Uh, it tells me that they were, what they replied uh, will pass us along to management, okay? And then in the notes, it's, it says, hey, she rated her experience a four, and this is what they had to say. Uh, this is, they rated a three, and this is what they had to say, okay? So that kind of gives you an idea of how this thing works. Um, again, it tries texting, it, it tries different times of the day as well, uh, and it tries emails, uh, and it's pretty slick. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely get with me um, and just, you know, just make me a deal. Let's, let's uh, name your price kind of thing. Um, you know, I know this is actually replacing some other softwares that people are paying for, um, like BirdEye, I guess. And so to bring this in-house into Go High Level is awesome. Um, some I don't know how much those are being you know a couple hundred bucks a month so I'm thinking just a one-time fee um, I wouldn't let you like I wouldn't let you like resell this but you could use it you know as many times as you wanted in your in your agency so so uh, let me know hopefully that's interesting or jog some ideas again if you're really ambitious you can uh, zoom in and try to recreate what I've got here too I, I'm I'm game for that too I'm I'm a cheapskate some sometimes as well so uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support. And we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.